In this session, you're going to learn how to create a session or a data sheet for your client from your client notebook. There are a couple of steps to do that. The first step involves just making um, a session or a data sheet so that you have, have it available to auto progress your target, which is the second part of developing your session sheet. So let's start with the first one. Uh, you're going to navigate to the Learn module, click on Clinical, then Sessions, and again, Sessions are your data sheets. And we're going to create Add New. And then I'm going to create one for Sally Sample. So I'm going to use her Fila, first two letters of first name, first two letters of last name. And I'm just going to name it Data Sheet. And I'm going to want to make sure that it's created for and connected to our client Sally Sample. And then what's going to happen over to the left at the bottom here, the learning trees that are available or the program notebooks for that client that are available are going to be there. And all we want to do right now is simply create a data sheet so that we have it to refer back to in our auto progressions back in the program notebook, which we'll show you in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the program notebook and what you'll see is there are a um, bunch of uh, targets and things available to um, search and filter by, but the entire program notebook is there. You can filter by baseline, intervention, generalization, etc. to the left. Also a very uh, good one is filtering by data because in your data sheets, you only want to have the target level. You do not want the short-term or long-term goal level. Uh, it doesn't uh, help and, or add to the sheet at all. It actually makes, makes it more difficult to navigate. So remember, we're looking at the target level. And again, all we're doing right now is we're not worrying about all the things that we want to add to this data sheet at this point in time. We just want to get it created. So I'm going to just click on the first target I have here and click create a session. And we'll go through in another module uh, how the uh, sessions work and how to navigate them and the features of the um, data sheets. But for now, we're going to go back to now that we've created our data sheet, we're going to go back to the client's notebook. So that's where we find it in Learning Trees. And I'm going to click on Sally Samples Program Book. And then what I'm going to want to do is it's really important with um, our programs that we want to auto progress targets, meaning that once they've met criteria for set one, it automatically progresses to set two and set three so, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on social communication and always, always, always at the short term goal level is where you're going to auto progress targets, never at any other level. So the short term goal level is the second one down and make sure that it says short term goal to the right here. And then we're going to click on the edit pencil. And then if you see here, it says auto progression of targets. And you see I've already auto-progressed this one. It's asked you allow all child branches of this goal to auto-progress into the following session. And then we only have one data sheet. That's why we had to add that first so that we can have reference to that data sheet. And then we have the option to either remove targets from the above session when met or to continue with the, that target on the data sheet. So in our templates, we have the, um, the uh, ability to move from intervention after the target is quote unquote met because all of our templates say that the goal is met after intervention, but we do have the ability to go to generalization and maintenance after that. If you click remove targets, it will not go on to generalization and maintenance. It will go on to set two. Um, if you do, if you unclick it, then what it will do, it will it will all it will go to set two, but then we'll go to generalization and maintenance for set one. 
So it's up to you to decide which way that you want to do it. Um, it does get a little crowded if you um, do not click remove targets, but it's up to you to de decide because remember with every set it's going to go, if you don't click this, it's going to go to generalization and maintenance. So let's practice doing some more auto progression. We're going to move to the motor section and here we have imitation oral motor and we want to always move to the short term goal level. That's where you're going to auto progress all of your targets. That's if you want to auto progress all of your targets in your particular program. So I'm going to click on the short term goal level and then I'm going to click the edit button to the right on the right side of the screen. And then I'm going to find the auto progression of targets. I'm going to click allow all child branches of this goal to auto progress into the following session, which is um, this particular data sheet. If there's more than one data sheet, typically there's not. Just make sure it's the right data sheet for your client. And then if you want to remove targets from the above session when met, that's up to you, um, or you can leave it blank. And then you click done editing. One more thing to note about um, adding sessions, this is talking about auto progression. Sometimes we don't want to auto progress sets. Maybe they're not sets, maybe they're behavior graphs. So what I'm going to want to do is if I want to have all of these available, um, which they are right now, we want them all to be blue. What I did for that was I went into the top tier behavior class graph, so that's the short-term goal. Clicked on view goal and made sure that it said not active, but in progress. And then if you click update all, it turns everything that was gray to blue. So now the next step is adding uh, the targets, again, the target level to your session. So Simply, it's very simple to do it from your program notebook, and this is what I would recommend when you're setting it up. You can always go back to the session as before and add targets that way, but it's very simple to add to a session here. Uh, if I want to add aggression to a session, I click on the icon and click on the right, click on the, the chart with the, the bullet, uh, the target, and click on add to session. It'll ask you which data sheet and then you click add to session. And it's as simple as that. For all other targets that I want, click add to a session and it will be added to your session. And the other thing to note is when you're adding in um, auto progression of sets, you don't wanna add all the sets in at once. You just wanna add the first set because then it will auto progress all sets. So it's going to be simple just to add it to a session and boom, what you'll see is when we go to the session level, click on clinical, you click on the session, we actually click on the data sheet, whatever it is that we added to that session, let's click on this data sheet. you'll see to the left here in the index view. So we have safe behaviors, aggression, self-injurious behavior, and we also have the short-term, uh, the target uh, goal, which is set one of answering WH questions. So you add as many or as few as you want to the data sheet, and remember the ones that have auto-progressed, you're not gonna have to worry about, they'll just automatically populate onto the data sheet. In another module, we will show you how to navigate this data, this data sheet, this session, and all the features of that session. As the alternative, if you want to add more targets to your data sheet from this view, all you do is you go to the gear icon over here to the right where it says settings and it's uh, you go to reorder edit branches and then it's um, asking you if you want to add a branch to the session you choose the learning tree 
And then I'm going to filter by data, collection branches. And then I'm going to add in some things like set one of request break um, and so on and so forth. I'm going to look at set where I want set one to be. Usually you're, you're always going to want to start with set one and add those to the session as well. So that's another option for adding your targets to a session. From the reorder edit area, you can also reorder or delete your items from your session data sheet. So if I want to reorder my uh, information, so I can just go to these vertical buttons here, these dots, and just move them around as I see fit. Usually I want to have the behavior buttons at the top. Um, then I can also delete branches um, just by clicking the trash can button as well. One final note to add about adding, uh, creating data sheets and adding a session is that there is this pin view at the bottom. You can see where there are, there's a pin right here and then uh, the behavior data come up. Um, so if you want to have your data pinned, your behavior data pinned, um, it's typically uh, set up as, as a default in our templates but I just wanted to show you how to uh, change that if you wanted to pin something or other to the actual um, data sheet. You simply go to their um, program notebook and you navigate to that particular program. And you'll see here in the safe behaviors, replacement behaviors area, if you click the edit button, it's going to show you some data collection details. And the only difference between pinned and just the general seeing it as a list is um, the session type. So it's pinned or NET. So by default, we want almost everything to be NET. Uh, if you want it pinned to the bottom of a session, you clicked pin, pinned as session type. So you'll see that those are pinned. And then if you were to look into um, a regular goal and go to the target level, you'll see that in the edit, in the edit tab, oops. Hang on one second in the edit tab. The session type says NET. And if you want to change it to pinned, you can change it to pinned. But you're going to have to remember that all of the different sets are going to have to be changed one by one if you wanted to do that. So you're going to want to decide ahead of time when you're creating your templates whether you want the session type NET or pinned.